Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is, well, the beginnings of the Jail Arc, arc Part 2 for Daniel Larson. Now, I know what you're probably thinking to yourselves. Didn't I just do a video about this last night? And yes, I did, but that was only, like, emerging of, like, very rec recent events about Daniel Larson. So, for what they're worth, I want to sort of use this video to elaborate on some of the details mostly because the Daniel Larson wiki probably had a lot to update in as short as 24 hours so we may as well go over the specifics of exactly what happened on March 19th 2024 a warrant was issued for Daniel Larson's arrest for fugitive from justice so this was the this is actually the second time uh, Daniel Larson's been arrested for being a fugitive of justice because for those who may remember the last time this happened Daniel Larson was meant to attend a court hearing at 8 30 in the morning and at exactly 8 31 when Daniel Larson no showed the police uh, had uh, issued a warrant for his arrest immediately and they arrested uh, Daniel Larson just skulking about inside a mall somewhere in Colorado so <clears throat> here we go he was placed into the Broomfield County Detection Center and was transferred to Jefferson County Jail the next day. And if you could see right here, this is Daniel's mugshot. And they they claim that there were no forts behind those eyes. I don't think there is, or there might have been a single fort going through Daniel Larson's mind. And is it me or does Daniel's heart and head look a little bit indentured a little bit? Or is this just owing to the way he decided to shave this style his hair to be fair Daniel Larson looks a little bit healthier than he has in like recent years but it's even down to just the enormity of the size of uh, Daniel Larson's bug eyes and the fact that he kind of looks like he's sort of caught between confusion outrage and uh, a general sense of confusion that is sort of like illuminated in his mugshot so the background for this is Daniel had violated his parole by getting kicked out of the homeless shelter for 45 days, as well as legal issues from being trespassed by in by an IHOP. Well, well, okay, so maybe the, I'm not too sure if that's if I worded that correctly. Basically, uh, Daniel Larson got kicked out of IHOP that he was banned from before, owing to Daniel Larson's previous uh, outings at dining and dashing. Now, apparently, Daniel Larson offered to actually pay for the food, but. No, that not in the eyes of uh, the staff who worked at, at these places. They 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 were obviously having none of it. And bear in mind, Daniel Larson spent uh, three whole days in this homeless shelter before somehow getting himself kicked out. So, despite the fact Daniel Larson knew he at absolutely had to be on his best behavior, despite all of this, it was far too much for Daniel to handle, and he basically went off the handle. And this is basically what happened. His probation officer likely notified Jeff Jefferson County, who subsequently issued a warrant due to his bad record. Well, to say back bad record is a bit of an understatement, but we'll keep going. The arrest. In the morning, sometime between 10am 10, 10 to noon, Daniel was arrested. According to a subreddit user who took the photos of Daniel's arrest, he was at, at the Flatiron Crossing, which is a shopping mall in Broomfield, Colorado. I wonder if this was the same uh, shopping mall he was at last time when he got arrested. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's a good sign for Daniel not to go there again. Who knows? <laughs> However, Daniel was arrested under the charge of fugitive of justice from another state. Daniel was arrested a month ago on the same charge. Yeah, absolutely. Daniel was booked in Broomfield County Detection Center, Detention Center and held at a bond of $1,000. He was transferred to Jefferson County Jail the next day. Besides his fugitive of justice charge, he also has two charges for trespassing and one for criminal mischief. His bond is still set at $1,000 for the main charge, plus an additional $50 and $75 for each trespassing charge. So that's $1,200 if uh, Daniel has to cough up if he wants to post bail, which... I don't necessarily know if, if you know, trolls or white knights or weens can just pay the bond for... Well, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if this is uh, the sort of thing that they can do. The money would have to come from Daniel Larson himself, but 
it's kind of interesting, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for reasons I'll get into later about the fact that this is not even going to be the, the last we hear of Daniel Oss, uh, Daniel Larson going to jail. Daniel respond, Daniel's response. Allegedly, Daniel said that he got into an altercation with Dylan Clark, one of Daniel's many managers. The altercation was physical and incurred at a shelter, which resulted in them being kicked out. According to the subreddit user who stated this, it was in violation of his probation and Daniel was arrested again. I wonder, uh, honestly, whether or not this is a shelter specifically for those who are, who have just recently come out of jail or for those who were homeless to begin with, or maybe it's probably for both. Is that people who were just recently released from prison slash jail and even those, well, it, it begs the question why probably Daniel didn't think to go in, going to them like way before this but like with many other things that uh, are kind of strange and f things about this universe I don't understand there probably must have been other legitimate reasons why Daniel was not permitted to go to these shelters before court appearances future appearances Daniel has two court dates on March 21st 2024 so in 24 hours regarding his fugitive of justice and trespassing charges. At 8.30am, he has a hearing for his failure to comply and pay court fees in Jefferson, and at 1.15pm for failure to appear at Lakewood. On March 25th, 2024, Daniel has a hearing scheduled for two charges in Golden. Daniel also has a court date scheduled for March 27th, 2024, for an arrangement following the Olive Garden incident. This court date was originally scheduled for February 13th, but did not happen as he was in Arapahoe uh, County, uh, uh, Arapahoe uh, County Jail. Wait a minute, uh, wasn't the Olive Garden incident? Isn't that the one where uh, Daniel Larson pulled the fire alarm and they just never got round to actually arresting him under these charges? Let me just uh, do a little, um, little, a little look into this. On December 10th, during Daniel Larson's live stream at uh, Denver Olive Garden, Daniel, under a possible manager-fed delusion, attempted to get him and Grace Vanderval, because of course it would be, um, incident. And they did call the police as well, I believe the people who worked there. Even though Daniel was seated, he refused to order any food, and over the course of the live stream, composed, and... Oh, this is the one where he pulls the fire alarm because one of the things that Daniel did, because he's a complete fucking idiot, was try to perform a citizen's arrest. I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, and it's also this. Yeah, I guess I can. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good, good luck, Daniel. Good luck explaining that one. So I will cover, like, the... Uh, the Olive Garden incident, as well as all the other incidents about uh, Daniel Larson in due course. But for the case in being, ladies and gentlemen, we may as well just sit back and just watch this story just unfold. Because to be completely fair and honest, as you know, I already am, ladies and gentlemen, is that I'm scared. I'm scared about where this is going. I'm scared of the fact that if Daniel Larson gets released, he's just going to do the same thing. In fact, Daniel Larson might do something so crazy and insane that it means that he will be, not only will it be jail arc free, but it will also mean that he won't be coming back out there for a very, very long time. Now, I said this before about uh, Daniel Larson upon hearing his arrest last time, is the fact that, isn't it, can't we just like build a sort of place just for where Daniel could just sit by himself and be quiet for a couple of years? Like somebody suggests the idea about like an, an an asylum of some court of some sort, but make it well just just a place where we as well as the authorities and well everybody for that matter, including Daniel himself, is satisfied that Daniel Larson can return to the real world, return to society, fully comprehending exactly what's done wrong. Well, unfortunately, this is bordering on something on the lines of the Ministry of Love, and well. There are reasons why we should be grateful that the Ministry of Love does not exist. Not even those uh, conversion camps in China are anything like that. But with all that being said and done, I will keep you guys updated about this harrowing and unfortunate story. Well, not really unfortunate for us, but 
for Daniel. And, well, both of us, I suppose. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.